here. I hope you all had a wonderful festive season and I wish each and every one of you a fantastic and prosperous 2014. I must say that I'm super excited for what's ahead for Marley Makeup in this year and I want to thank each and every one of you for embarking on this journey with me. Now I thought as this is my first video for the year, what better way to start the year than to do a massive makeup giveaway. So in this video I'm going to do a makeup look for a daytime, for your office, for your day at work and I'm going to show you how to take that makeup look very quickly, very easily into a beautiful evening makeup look. And all of the makeup products that I'm going to use, I'm going to give away. All of the products I'm using is from Catrice, which is a super affordable, high quality makeup brand. So for my foundation, I'm using the BB All Round Foundation from Catrice. It's basically a BB cream. I'm using color 020 Rose Beige. What I really, really love about this is that it has an SPF of 30, which is fantastic for our day makeup look. It gives us just enough cover. We can also build the cover a little bit, but obviously it doesn't give us full cover because it is a BB cream. And I'm just applying it with my fingers. Next, we're gonna do our concealer. I'm using the cover stick from Catrice, and this is 040 Sand Beige. And it's got a nice cream consistency. So I'm just gonna apply that under the eyes just with a stick like that, and then wherever else you feel you need it. For daytime, I don't like to have too much cover, so I'm just gonna do under my eyes for today. And then just taking my ring finger, I'm just gonna blend that in. Next, I'm using the matte powder from Catrice in Nude Beige, and I'm just using a powder brush, and I just wanna set this foundation or this BB cream. You can see it's quite a rich cream, it's got quite a glow to it, and I just wanna make sure that it's not too shiny and that it lasts the whole day. Using that same powder brush, this is an angled powder brush, I'm going to use the medium skin sun glow bronzer and just get some of that on the brush. And I just want to get some color into my skin. We don't have to do too much because this is a more natural day look, but I'm just going to apply it a bit as a contour over here, a bit on the temples, a touch on my forehead just to give me a bit more color and a bit warmth to my skin, a little bit just on the nose, and just a bit on the jawline. For our blush, we're going to use this color, which is called a Propos Apricot. And you can see it's a lovely like coral color. It's got a nice sheen to it, so it'll give us a nice glow. Using that same um, angled powder brush, just making sure there's not too much on the brush. And I'm just going to give a hint of a smile and just apply this to the apples of the cheeks. I also just want to apply a little bit of it just on the cheekbones so that we get that glow going onto the cheekbones. With this blush, because it is summer, I'm gonna apply a touch of it on my nose and just a little bit on the forehead here, also just to warm up the skin. So for the eye makeup, I'm using the Smoky Eyes Set in Meet Me at the Bonfire. And I'm just using this light color and my 217 brush from MAC. And I'm just applying it all over the eyelid from the lash line all the way up to the crease. Then our second color, I'm just going to use the second one that's in this palette, which is like a soft brown color, 217 brush. And this we want to apply to the crease of the eye. Using my pencil brush in that same color, I just want to apply this to the bottom lash line. Also on the bottom lash line, I'm going to use this highlighter pen, Made to Stay Inside Eye Highlighter Pen. You can see it's like a nice, um, almost like a skin color. It's nice that it's not a stark white. I find that these pencils look a lot more natural this color. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner rim of the eye. Now this palette comes with a little applicator. It's got three eyeshadows and it's actually got a cream liner. And this cream liner is fantastic. So I'm using this little flat brush and I'm just pushing it in there so I just get the product on the end of this brush. And we're going to take this brush right at its angle like that and just push it into our lash line and go all the way into this inner corner. Now just using the dark eyeshadow color and my pencil brush, I just want to add a touch of this just to this outer corner. And using that same brush, I'm going to just apply a touch of it to the outer corner on the top lid. And then with my blending brush, I'm just going to blend that softly. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm just using the eyebrow pencil. And I don't want to make them too dark for daytime, but I do want them to look groomed. So I'm just doing little wispy uh, lines on my eyebrows. And this side. 
I notice a lot of women that do their eyebrows very dark to this inner corner and they keep the intensity the same all throughout the brow. It looks a lot more natural if you leave this a little bit soft on the inner corner and keep the intensity to the outer corners of your brow. So this outer edge we can get it nice and defined. We're in here we just want to feather it very soft. And then this eyebrow pencil comes with a brush at the back. And I'm just going to take that brush and just brush through. This also helps to just blend the color and it will soften the brows. For mascara, I'm using the Glamour Doll Mascara. It's a waterproof mascara as well. And I'm just going to apply not too much as it is day, but I do love having lashes. So I am going to apply about two to three coats. And just make sure you get right into the roots. And then what I like to do, I'll leave that just to dry a little bit and I'll go back and do another coat. And I'll probably just keep it at two coats. I think that's, that's enough for daytime. And just do the bottom lashes. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes, I'm just going to get my hair back into place. Perfect. Okay, next we're going to do our lips. The color that I've chosen is Ultimate Color. It is called, it's a matte word. It's like a beautiful orange color. Now for daytime, I'm not going to do this color very intense. This is a beautiful intense color. But I'm just going to blot it onto my lips. And basically create like a tint or a stain. Because it's a matte color, I would like to apply a lip balm over it. I'm just using, this is my favorite lip balm. It's called Island Tribe. It's got an SPF of 15 in it. Um, you basically buy it at surf shops, but I love the texture it has. Um, it's really great for every day and it doesn't make your lips flake. And that is basically our day makeup look done. We've got our eyes looking wide and awake and fresh. We've got a touch of color on the face, touch of color on the lips and an SPF of 30, which is most important. So we're ready for the day ahead. Now let's move over to how to change this look into a quick, easy evening look. The first thing that I usually do at the end of the day is I put my hair up. Obviously my hair is still fine right now because I haven't gone through a full day. But I am going to put my hair up just to complement the look. Now the quickest way to take your day look into an evening look is just to apply a darker lipstick. I am going to do more than that but let me just show you what that looks like. So I'm going to take that same lipstick that I used before just to create the stain. And I'm going to apply a full lip with this color. This is such a lovely rich color. Catrice also do this beautiful pink color, which is like a brighter pink color. So you can see there's the orange and the pink. So you can decide to either do pink if you prefer pink or the orange lip. So we can either leave the makeup look right here with a bright lip and a soft fresh eye, which is actually a very big trend this summer, but I would like to do a bit more. So I'm going to show you guys that. Now the first thing you're going to want to do at the end of the day is you want to touch up your skin, your concealer, so you just apply your concealer wherever you need it. Also for your evening look, you can definitely apply a bit more. If you feel that you need to add more foundation, I can definitely recommend this BB All Round Foundation to just touch up with, or you can apply a full layer over again if you need to. I would definitely recommend just touching up where needed. And then definitely, definitely powder again. So I'm gonna use this matte powder again and just powder all over wherever I need it. For our evening look, we can definitely make our contouring a bit darker. So I'm just going back with the bronzer. Wherever I applied it before, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker and basically just touching it up. And again, just a bit more blush. We can definitely make our cheeks a bit more intense for evening. You are welcome to leave your face fresh, do the darker lip and touch up the eyes. I am just showing you what I would do. If you would like to make your eyebrows a bit darker, I can recommend making your eyebrows a bit darker for evening. I personally prefer my eyebrows not to be too dark, so I'm going to leave them as is, and I'm just going to start going a bit darker on the eyes. I'm going to use this long-lasting eye pencil, which is waterproof. I've noticed that these eye pencils from Catrice, they come with a little sharpener in the back, which is very, very handy to keep that tip very sharp, but it's basically a twist pencil. And this, I'm going to just do a line on the bottom of the eye, just about halfway, and I'm going to line all the way on the top with this pencil. If you have very big eyes already, don't do this white eyeliner on the inside. And when you do this black eyeliner, go all the way up to there and do the inside rim of your eye as well. I'm not going to do the inside rim because I would like my eyes to look a bit bigger. And I am going to stop with this liner right over there, like halfway, because I would like to make my eyes look bigger. And just on the top. Just all the way, don't have to worry about making this line too even, 
just do a rough line all the way don't go into the corner just leave that inner corner open then with your pencil brush just come and blend these lines or basically just smudge them and I'm basically smudging it into this inner corner you can see that it goes a lot softer there and it's harder and darker to the outer edge then with my 217 brush from MAC and this dark color that's in this palette we're gonna go on the top lash line and I just want to put this dark color all over on the ball of the eye. This is going to give us a beautiful smoky eye. Then I'm going to use this little applicator that comes inside of this palette. And I'm going to take some of this whiter light color, this highlighter color. And I'm going to apply this just to the inner corner. And I want to apply a little bit more of this to the brow bone. And then our last touch with the makeup, we're just going to apply a bit more mascara. And you can apply a little bit more to your bottom lashes. And that is our evening makeup look done. The color that I chose to do on my nails is also from Catrice. It's not part of the giveaway though, but it's called Goldfinger. And I love, love, love this color. This has been my favorite color this summer so far. I've tried to convince all my clients to use it on our shoots. I really, really love this color. And I think it's totally perfect for daytime going into evening. Wonderful, wonderful gold color. So all of the makeup that I use on my face is gonna be given away to one lucky person. Basically, it's all of this. It's the powders, it's the blush, we've got the eyeshadows, the eyebrow pencil, the two eye pencils, we've got the concealer, the BB foundation, and the lipstick. All of this is gonna be given away. Obviously, the brushes are not included in this giveaway, and the nail polish is also not included in the giveaway. You can subscribe right now by just clicking that little red box underneath the video. Please leave me a comment and tell me why you would like to or why you should win this prize. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really look forward to mailing that box of makeup off to the winner and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Mm -hmm.